we appreciate you being here. Um, this is our annual event for you know Nick's kids, which is all about helping kids. It's all about the kids and uh, creating opportunities for them to have a better chance to be successful in life. So um, we've done quite a bit in that regard, and want to continue to be able to do that, you know, in the future. Uh, I think you know we just opened our Lank House, which was I think our 22nd house. Um, had that dedication, and you know we're working on the Saban Center, which is a children's learning center in Tuscaloosa, which will be state of the art and be a STEM hub for teachers to be able to take technologies back to their classroom all over the state of Alabama. So we're kind of excited about that project, and um, you know we certainly appreciate all the people that come out and support mixed kids, and um, you know hopefully we can continue to make this event. You know, something positive for everybody in the future. Coach, how proud are you been to see grow every year? And you're seeing the progress, and now your players are getting involved and, and stuff like that, and former players and the yeah. community. So um, I think that's the goal. You know, the more we can grow, the more people we can help. So um, that's something that we work hard at. It's something that you know I do quite a bit in terms of making sure that we're making the kind of contributions to do the things we need to do. And, you know, we made um, another significant gift to the savings center. Uh, so, um, Ms. Terry is kind of on the ball on this, but, you know, maybe she <laughs> We have to get bigger, because she, she's getting bigger with the, uh, oh, what are we doing, and what are we supporting, and all that type of thing, which I think is a good thing. It's an opportunity for us to give back to the community. And you know, one of the things that I'm most proud of is you know, how many guys, when they were playing in Alabama over the last 17 years, help build houses, help do things to support those kids. And because they've had a great feeling about giving back to the community, they started foundations of their own when they became um, NFL players or whatever. So. Uh, I think that's a, a really significant accomplishment in developing the person uh, who learns how to be a servant leader and help other people for their benefit. Does your relationship with former players kind of change now that you're not the coach, or does it, is it the same relationship kind of? Uh, I, I don't think relationships change because you're not the coach. I mean, I think it's you and Mark are here, and you know, some of the players are still players in so that hasn't changed. How it changes in the future will be something I can't predict. But you know, to have Caitlin here and, and the current Alabama coaching staff to support this is you know, also pretty significant, I think, because you know, this, is, this is a community effort. It's just not about us. All these people who support these kids. So uh, to have the university continue to do that, I think, is an important part of it. What, what aspect of the Saving Center are you most excited about? Uh, you know, I, I think the opportunity for children to learn, uh, grow, uh, you know, coaching is all about teaching, teaching is ability to inspire learning, so hopefully we can inspire learning. But I think having a STEM hub uh, for teachers uh, that can come there and actually learn new technologies, take it back to classrooms all over the state, is pretty significant. Now that you're retired, you know, Mr. Terry, can you work on the foundation? How's that going? Um, you know, she's so used to me not being around. Um, I think she's looking for things to keep me that way. Which <laughs> is good for golf. But, you know, I'm, I'm able to do the things that I've never been able to do. Whether it's work things, whether it's speaking, whether it's doing TV, um, whether it's to continue to try to support things like this, you know, to help in the community. Um, you know, we're actually in the process of starting a sort of a, a foundation for career development for former players, um, which you know, Molly Dodd is going to sort of head up at the university, and we are funding that you know, to some, to some degree. You know, when players get finished playing, they end up calling me. Uh, but we, need, we have so, so many great resources at the university to help us launch the next career. Uh, that's something that we want to keep organizing. Uh, so, projects like that, I, I've never had a chance to do that. Of course, now, we do have a chance to do that. Coach, what were those early days like 
early conversations when you guys were kind of having the idea of what Nick's kids could be, what did those look like and how have y'all been able to maintain the integrity of that goal almost 20 years later? Well, um, I wanted to be bigger. I wanted to get bigger. And, you know, one of the things that I've had an opportunity to do, whether it was for the Reggie Jackson's Foundation or the big one they had in Nashville last week, uh, see how other people get things and how much money they raise for the benefit of other people. Uh, we want to continue to use some of those ideas to continue to grow. If you're asking me 20 years ago, would it ever be what it is today? Uh, probably never thought we'd get this big. What has Cedric meant for you over the years and how his role maybe changed in your retirement? Cedric is still, you know, attached to my hip, so that hadn't changed. And he's the most servant person I've ever been around in terms of helping other people and uh, very selfless and how he spends his time to help other people at the university as well as myself. So uh, we feel very indebted to him. Coach, well, one of your former players, who's the, who's the best golf partner you've ever played with? Uh, you know, Mark's pretty decent. Uh, I actually had Mark and two when we were in Florida because they're both in Florida, come up to Jupiter Hills where you know we're members, and it was my most fun. We played with one other member, but that was my most enjoyable round of golf I've had this year. Keep playing with the two of them. You know, Mark and I took on two of them. That's why he was the other end of it. He was very competitive, but um, man, did I get killed on all the stuff that's happened over the last, when those guys were playing, whether they were stories about practice, stories about games, talks about Gabe. I mean, it was brutal for me to get killed from that. And they're two offensive guys. So, you know, that, I was always used as a defensive guy. And, telling stories about how the offense would have a good practice and the defense would have a bad practice and I would chew everybody out afterwards because the defense had a bad practice but the offense really had a good practice. So I was getting killed the whole the whole eighteen <laughs> holes, but it was fun. Coach, how big is it for you to last just, one guys like Fox marks on and two as an NFL quarterback? You thought about the new thing that you're starting with other players to build career. How big was that? Because after they graduate you don't want them to just be forgotten. Yeah well one of the things that we you know, wanted to do with the program was we always want players to have a better chance to be more successful in life because they're involved with the program. So that's helping them develop as people, helping them develop a career off the field, which means graduate from school, and see if we could help them develop a career on the field and maybe play at the next level someday. But that last one doesn't last long, so there's eventually you got to have that next career. You're preparing yourself for where you can't play football, you know, when you go to college. So, and we have great resources at Alabama. We have a first and 10 club, which is a, an organization for just that. But we haven't been able to tile those resources together and always have somebody that's getting it to the players. So uh, to be able to do that now, I think would be huge in being able to help them and use the resources that we have to help them. All right, Coach, thank you.